You know, my job is to be a representative. I certainly have my convictions and my values that I bring to this job, but I'm really supposed to be representing what people here in Connecticut think and need. And so the best way for me to do that is to, you know, be present in the community. Senator Chris Murphy addressed residents' concerns in Stamford Sunday afternoon during a town hall meeting hosted in Government Center. To hold office hours at supermarkets, to have town halls where people can come and speak their mind. This is how I learn, uh, and I'm going to bring what I heard here back down to Washington with me. Before taking questions, Senator Murphy outlined his top four legislative priorities, transportation, job growth in manufacturing, mental health, and responding to international terror threats. At the top of my list for, uh, for southwestern Connecticut is clearly going to be transportation. Uh, we have a transportation bill that needs to pass um, in March or April of this year. Still, we are a heavy manufacturing state. Um, and uh, manufacturing jobs are coming back to the United States. Um, but we've got to do a better job of making sure they're coming back to Connecticut as well. Many residents expressed concerns over student debt and mental health, as well as foreign relations and transportation. One of the big things we're going to work on in this mental health bill that I'm trying to do, trying to do in a bipartisan way, is going to be um, changing the way that insurance companies interact with uh, the illness and with the diagnosis so that they don't encourage physicians to just write a script and walk away. Um, that there is a financial reward built in for the right kind of uh, treatment plan, um, even if it's uh, a few less medications um, and a little bit more time talking it through. And, you know, you're preaching to the choir. I, I opened with my plea to my colleagues that we should be spending more on infrastructure. Um, the statistics are maddening. Last year, the U.S. will have spent less than 1% of its GDP on infrastructure. Um, Europe, even in the midst of a recession, is spending 6% of its GDP on infrastructure. China is spending 12% of its GDP on infrastructure. We're fighting like hell to get this interest rate um, permanently pegged at about 3.5% so that when you're taking out a loan, you're never paying more than 3.5%. Uh, we have not won that fight yet, um, but, uh, but I'm at the forefront of it as a member of the Education Committee. I'll just put in a plug for what I think in the long run is a more important fight. Um, student loan rates are an important fight, but you shouldn't have to borrow as much money in the first place. Reporting in Stamford, I'm Quajerba Crawfee for It's Relevant News.